Since the dawn of man, we have seeked to escape our world, to immerse ourselves into fantasy lands with dragons, fairies, and something called an alligator gar, which my family insists is real, but I'm not sure. I mean, look at this thing. It can only exist in someone's nightmares. Where was I? Oh, yeah. But in recent years, have we unlocked the store with the key of imagination? Have we found a way to escape our world and enter into augmented reality? You might be wondering why I'm wearing a sweatshirt backwards. To which I respond, why are you so nosy, huh? Anyways, now that that introduction was very weird, this is Zapbox AR. Now, uh, a while ago, about three months ago, I made a video about the Hollow Patch, which was my design at making an affordable version of the HoloLens, an augmented reality headset. And someone, the name of which I have now forgotten, commented on the video and told me about something called Zapbox AR, which is, what you see right here. So I bought the thing, it just got here, and <laughs> oh am I just, I'm, I'm, okay, so how, how does it work, you're asking? Now that, that, that is an appropriate question for you to ask me. So first off, these discs are how the camera can see the world around you. So you place these discs with these different patterns around this area, and then the camera recognizes where those discs are within space and is able to create this kind of virtual map of where the world is so that when you move your camera around the 3D object that's projected or is displayed on the screen is stuck in that place. But how do you interact with such objects? You also ask again. Great question. You're just full of them today. You have, you are given these two pretty awesome actually cardboard controllers. It works the same way as these little pad things. Uh, the camera looks for these images, knows and recognizes that this is a controller, so it knows that this is a moving object. And then these little triggers move these bars up, and get this, down. Uh, and the camera can recognize that, which means when you press this trigger, that will trigger something in the game, like you shoot something, or you cast a spell. I don't know, the sky's the limit. So the app that is free for anyone to download on their phone, that came with the Zapbox has uh, five or six demo experiences, so let's talk about each of them in a very entertaining way. Take it away, Will. The first experience I tried with the Zapbox was the Aquarium, which is an augmented reality display that you can interact with to learn about your favorite sea creatures. And by favorite, I mean just two. Apparently a turtle and a shark are the only sea creatures in the ocean. Anyways, the display is pretty basic, but it's an interactive way that you can learn about these animals up close and personal. The interesting thing about this is the educational applications it could have. For students that are more visual learners, I could definitely see something like this in a classroom that the students could look around and see in front of their very own eyes, or maybe not even in a classroom. Virtual or digital classrooms could be held anywhere around the world and people could interact and participate at the same time over technology. Also, what's kind of fun about this app is if you click on this little thing here, this guy with an Australian accent talks to you about sharks. Oh, look, he's so cute. I can just pinch his little cheeks. The next game was The Claw, which is not really a game at all. It's a demonstration of an idea with augmented reality. Here are just random blocks floating in space, and you use the controller as a claw to move those blocks around, and that's it. Though it may seem simple, it actually is really cool to play around with, especially when you have the headset on, you see these 3D objects tethered to the environment. This is where the tracking of the image targets is crucial. If the camera doesn't know exactly where those image targets are in relation to the camera, then the illusion is broken. This demonstration, again though simple, proves a simple idea that you don't have to shell out $3,000 to buy a HoloLens to have a pretty cool augmented reality experience. The next experience was the xylophone, which is not that impressive. The 3D object that it renders is pretty cool, but the tracking isn't that good enough that I can play my favorite song, which is... I don't even know what I'm playing here. I'm just riffing. I'm just... I'm imp improvisation. I'm an artist. This is what I do. Um, but yeah, it's fine, but there's nothing too interesting to talk about here.
And the last and by far the best experience on the Zapbox was Zapbox Pop, which is an AR balloon tower defense like game. The premise is very simple, there is a path and there are these balloons heading down the path to your base and you buy cannons and crossbows and other stuff to destroy the balloons before they get there. The game is simple and it's been done before, but this was actually a way fun way of playing it. The tracking was great, the visuals were cool, you could get up close and personal, and I found myself playing it for like 15 or 20 minutes and I forgot honestly that I was recording. Though there are engineering and educational applications to augmented reality, as there are on the HoloLens, most people are interested in AR for games. The most popular augmented reality app is Pokemon Go, and that is a video game, of, of course. So, people want to see games like this, where you can be up close and personal with the things that you're interacting with, making it look real, and this was an excellent example of that. Unfortunately, that's pretty much it for all Zapbox has to offer. There is a developer edition where you can make your own games, which is what you're encouraged to do, but outside of that, there's not really a lot to this thing. There are a few other games and apps that are on the Zapbox that I played, but I didn't want to review here because I didn't find them too interesting. There was mini-golf, which is cool, but didn't really work very well. But in short, all in all, the Zapbox is an awesome idea, but it's still kind of just an idea. It needs improvement, the uh, the tracking can be better, there could be more content, more people should buy this thing and make things. In fact, in the future, I want to make games with the developer edition to share with, with you guys, with the world. So, keep on the lookout for that. Uh... Now you're probably wondering, why am I in bed? And I will answer that question. It's because I'm tired, and I'm gonna go to bed. But not before I thank you for watching this video. It's been a while since I posted a video, but most of you probably don't care. I know I don't. Um, if you like this video, or if you subscribe to this channel... <laughs> uh, what am I doing here?